Hey you guys, welcome to Thirsty Thursday. Today we are taking a spin on spaghetti. We are making a healthy alternative. We're gonna make spaghetti squash. Super easy, ditch the carbs, ditch all the calories that those noodles can pack on, and make your dinner really lean and light on the calories and carbs. Um, you'll, you really won't notice the difference. It's really, really tasty. Put your kids up to the challenge. Guarantee they can't notice the difference in the noodle. Um, so all you need, it's really easy. Um, I am doing chicken spaghetti, and you can do ground turkey, which is a healthy, um, leaner meat, or if you want, you can do hamburger. It's up to you. It's whatever you want, but I'm doing, and the, the oven is preheated, I'm doing, um, just chicken breasts. So I always cut, if you guys don't have chicken, like scissors for your chicken or your meat, these are the best tools to have in the kitchen. Um, I just lightly coated my chicken with some olive oil, and then I coated it or seasoned it with this Grillmates Roasted Garlic and Herb, the McCormick. I swear by these seasonings, they are the best for chicken and it's all I cook with. The olive oil will really help keep your chicken breasts moist and keep them from getting really dry. I preheated the oven to 350 and I just put these in there till they're white and the middle they're white all down the middle. But the olive oil is a trick. It really keeps your um, chicken very moist. Next, you're going to need, obviously, a spaghetti squash for the spaghetti noodles and your favorite can of um, tomato, tomato, whatever, you know, the sauce that goes on spaghetti. I love this kind. This is the pepper spices and the whole shebang. So I like that um, for the sauce. To spice up the sauce, we're going to be adding some garlic, a white onion, and our own mushrooms, okay? Then you can add a salad to this. You can have it as it. So go get your supplies and let's get started. All right, so the second step is I just cut up this size of a bowl of onion and four little garlic cloves out of that pack I showed you guys. So not a ton, but just enough. Remember, fresh ingredients make things taste better. So instead of just dumping this into a warming pan, you know, add some things to it. Add a little basil, a little parmesan, something, um, garlic, onion, something to spice it up so it gives it kind of that more fresh, I just whipped up this homemade marinara today taste. Um, and then we're going to just do half of these mushrooms. Instead of adding butter with the mushrooms, I'm going to add like a spoonful of coconut oil, then add in the garlic, and then the onions, and kind of let that simmer, and then add in your sauce. Remember when you cook sauce, the warmer it gets, the more it thins out. So when you dump this can in and you see just like a circle, remember as it warms up, that's going to thin out, and you're going to be able to serve more people. So you don't need the whole can, especially just because Cooper and I are eating. So if this is for two, I mean use a fourth of the can, and then save the can for the next whatever we can use it for more recipes to come um the spaghetti squash they're really hard to cut at first when they're you know when they're cold so i just stabbed it a couple of times with a fork and then you're going to place it in a pyrex pan i put a little bit of water and oil in there i just get your water and some olive oil in the bottom of your pyrex um so that we can soften up the spaghetti squash we're going to pop it in the microwave for two minutes and just let it warm up and then we're gonna it'll be easier for us to cut that in half um it depends on how many people you're serving since just cooper and i are eating we're only going to eat half that spaghetti squash and then you can just put the rest in the ziploc bag and use it sometime throughout the week so next step is your spoon of coconut oil in the garlic get that in the pan with the mushrooms and the onions then we're going to add remember however much you need to use of this and kind of let that simmer and warm up as our spaghetti squash is cooking and our chicken is baking. So easy, so easy, right? So it took me a couple of minutes to get the spaghetti squash soft enough for you to be able to cut it open. To cut off the top first, it helps. Once you get it cut um, in half, just pull out the seeds with your hands. You can eat those. I just usually throw them away. And then we're going to place this face down in that water. It's like kind of like a pumpkin. Um, pull out the seeds. You can use them on salads so you can dry them out later or bake them. I mean, if you don't, if you want to throw that on top of a salad for like some crispy toppings. Anyways, take the half that you're going to be using and just place it down in the water and the oil. And we're going to put it back in the microwave, um, alternating it for three different, three or four different times, two minutes down, two minutes up, two minutes down, two minutes up, and see where it's at. Once it's done, you should literally be able to take a fork and rake through that like that and it will come out in shreds like noodles and those will be your spaghetti noodles for the chicken so just gauge however big your squash is um when it looks when it's ready it will be able to peel you'll literally hold it and comb it like that and it will peel pieces of the spaghetti squash out and you'll really be able to get down all the way to the peel 
So make sure you cook it long enough. Um, come with me. And as you can see, our mushrooms and onions and coconut butter and garlic is cooking. It smells amazing. And our chicken is looking like it's baking right as it should be. So all we need to do now is get our squash going, put some of our marinara with our fresh ingredients, and we're really close. Also, did I mention this meal is super quick? I haven't even been cooking for 20 minutes. So it's all about how you prep it. Are you excited to try mommy's meal tonight? Mm -hmm. Say thirsty Thursday. Thursday. So our spaghetti squash is ready. On the salad, I just added some grape tomatoes and some feta. Seriously, so delicious. Um, balsamic vinegar is my favorite dressing topping. It's a lot less fattening, a lot lighter on your digestive system instead of a creamy, thick ranch. You don't need that. If your salad is fresh enough, you shouldn't need a really heavy dressing. But we all have our vices. If you have it, just put it on the side, dip your fork in it, and bite. don't drizzle it over the top because you're probably using a lot more than you need. So the spaghetti squash is ready and it's really hot. Um, as you can see, it's really soft and squishy. So all you're gonna do is just rake through it like that. And do you see that? It just comes, you know, it comes right out. And just however much you want, you use that for the base for your spaghetti sauce. And you just comb it, literally just comb right down it. Then we're just gonna top our spaghetti sauce on it and you can put your meat on the side or you can coat your meat with um, that marinara but yeah this is literally all you have to do is just scrape through it and scrape hard because you can get a lot and it's look it's like real noodles okay so that's your spaghetti squash we're gonna put this um, marinara and then our chicken and we have a really healthy clean dinner and you never know who will be surprised with this recipe it's pretty easy so I'm gonna put this all together and then I'm gonna show you guys the final project for Thursday Thursday there is the final project we have our spaghetti squash that we pulled and raked from here I don't know if you guys saw that good shot but you see how you just rake down that um, spaghetti squash and it creates those little noodles for you then we have the feta with the grape tomatoes our chicken breast you can top your spaghetti squash with um, I'm using a little bit of basil then you can throw a little Parmesan on there we're going to throw some of this um, balsamic vinaigrette on the salad, and it's a really clean, healthy dinner, and it's super flavorful and delicious. Make sure you guys subscribe. We're going to be doing recipes every Thursday. I hope you love this video. If you recreate it, please tweet it to me. Tag me in, in your Instagrams. Post it on my Carly Styles Facebook fan page, and let me know how much you loved it. I know it's going to be delicious. Whose heart did you win over with this recipe? Remember, fresh is the best on Thursday Thursdays. Love you.